Hey, Future Card Buddy Fighters. Today we're having a look at the Future Card Buddy Fight Ace set to Dimension Destroyer. Of course, we have the new Blade Dancers, Draw Metal. Just have a look at some of the box really quickly. So yeah, it's a pretty nice booster box. Um, but again, we are looking for Draw Metal, um, Blade Dancers, and of course the new Lost World cards with Vanity right at the front. So, in case you didn't know, you get a promo card, basically. There's seven or eight types of flags, and you get the character promo. Um, basically printed on the flag and their luminized quote as well along with the box so it only is one unfortunately per box it's just the box topper and how it is but yeah it's still really nice to get that and today we're opening up the 30 packs that come with the set and we'll just see what we get so best of luck to you guys with your openings for this set and hope we can get some good lost world cards or whatever it may be okay so we have the mamaru flag for luck and let's get straight into the first pack so Let's see right here. I see a Lost World card on the back already. So we've got the new Impact for Draw Metal, Endgame Steady. We have got Art of Speedrun. Oh, great. Speedrun memes coming back. We've got Queen Side Castling Foil. That is a really nice pull. We have got Radiant Electro Didi, Awano Maiko. And we got Vanity Zero Blazer Rare right at the start. 3 gauge, 10 damage. Maybe too busted, maybe too weak. Who knows? Anyways, next pack. Let me just open this aside. And again, I'm seeing a Lost World card again. Is it rare? I think this. Throw that onto the side real quick. Okay, so we got Pawn Verd Spear right here. We've got Endgame Steady once again. We've got a foil of the new ninja for DD Dragon Tribe. We have got Magnetic Swordsman Neo, and our foil rare is going to be a Ganalia Devalum. There's no way you can say these names right. Okay, next pack. Just rip that, put that to the side. Okay, so we've got Speedrun again. We have got Titan. I'm going to pick up this pace a bit. Bishop, Wild Guard, that's a pretty nice pull for Link Dragon Order. And the new DD Dragon Play, Garkanai, is a rare. So I guess DD Dragon Tribe support. There's also, of course, new cards for them in um, the new special series, which is coming this December, or next month, technically. Anyways, Link's Chain Blade, Wild Chain, really nice card. We've got the defense card for Blade Dancers. We've got Seer Fight Dragon, Bar Pile, Wild Guard again. And, of course, we're going to get another Garkanai. Is that two in a row okay i see what's uh going on here bushy uh if i can take this out okay i guess all of, i'm assuming all the rares are also uh lost world as you see just look that oh i see another lost world card okay we've got bishop malice right here we've got ninbird right here of course back in again zero blazer and this is going to be a rare foil which is really nice let me just show that off because that kind of deserves to get that. Of course, I also got a secret rare version as well. Neo. And we're going to get that guy again. Okay, the dupes are coming up already. And we're only like four packs in. So, that was fast. Okay. So, moving on. Bishop. Have we not gone a Bishop on the same pack? The first. And Ninbird again. I'm getting some Deja Vu. And Wild Chain again. Okay. Queen Side Castling. Very nice. And Link Dragon Order's Renewal. Great spell for Link Dragon Order. It's basically a, a better wise move if you wanted to tech that in for fun in the deck. Okay. So, did we just get the secret pack? I thought we did. Vanity Cells. Uh, defense card for Blade Dancer. Almost, my heart almost jumped a beat right there. Bart Pile. Art of Getting Fish. Nice spell for DD Dragon Tribe Ninja. And Govern Star Billette. I thought we were going to get another rare there for a second. So that kind of threw me off. And also, of course, there's only two race, because you basically, okay, I almost said race for a second. Um, basically, you get your ace rares, right? But you only get two in this set because the only ones are Lost World and, um, what's his name? Wind Demon Dragon Gargantua, I believe. So we got the new Excel Blade, Beast Cut, Notify Blessed Rain Tactics. You can gain five life if you get the set spell and three Astro Dragons and an item on your field. Endgame Study Foil, that's really nice. We got Odeo right there. Which is, oh, is that ODO? Yeah, I almost said OD for a second. And, of course, we've got the draw, Forging from Fire, which is really nice for Blade Dancers, for sure. Okay, moving on, let's see what else we can grab. We have got Dimension Cane, which I believe was used in today's episode. We've got Robust Taton, which is pretty nice. We've got Namari again. Suzu, which is really nice. You search out your impact or your item. And we're going to get DD Gargantua Punisher for a Katana World. It's kind of weird how they all have the same name either way, but in a way, it's also kind of cool. It's kind of conflicting to me. Don't tell me this is... Oh, okay. D-Alteration? For... I, I keep thinking it's the secret pack every time I see a Lost World card, okay? We also got Estoma again for that mill in life. Um, Shakudo again. And we're going to get the triple rare Dimension Draw. This card is definitely not a cheap one. Draw three, then you can discard two from your hand, and it's just a really... The card art is also pretty insane as well. 
Like the amount of foiling on this, if you were to just feel it, it's just crazy. So I'm definitely gonna be sleeving that up. Ah, man, I'm just gonna throw this all to the second, throw this all to the back. There you go. Okay, moving on. We have got, is this the secret pack? No, I think I just leaked something at the back. Anyways, we've got Robust Ton. We've got Namari again. Link Dragonor's Anthem Foil. Okay, that card looks really nice. I definitely saw it when it was uh, released in the Japanese, or once we got the Japanese print of it, and it looked really good. And Forging from Fire again. So again, look at Link Dragon Order's Anthem. Okay, so uh, I gotta clean this up again. See, the recording space is just really small, so I'll be right back. Okay, so for you guys, it's only a second, and as soon as I put it down, I did not actually feel the top card, but it was actually the Gargantua Secret Pack for Katana World. So let's have a look at it real quick. We have got uh, Gargantua Wind Demon Dragon. This is the secret rare. So we've got one copy of that right there with body duplication. We've got Nin Cat, of course. We have got the new spell that stands all uh, drag gods with the same power or card on your field with the same power. Guard Kanai, secret rare. And of course, DD Gargantua Punisher, secret rare, Katana World version, which is pretty nice as well. Definitely just decked completely with foil. But it's really cool to see some Katana World cards, so we got that there. Okay, moving on. Can we get maybe um, some Lost World cards? It's definitely, some of the Lost World cards are really just worth a lot of money. So we got Grandmaster Kane right here, De Alteration, um, the new Ninja, Suzu again, and another DD Gargantuan Punisher. So that makes three already. And uh, so yeah, definitely getting the Ninja thing is really cool. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily be building them, but I mean, it's pretty cool to get them as well. Estoma, or you know, you can always trade them off with someone. We got Wilfred, Juhaku, Pawn, Verd Spear, oh, Investigator, Mizuru, and King Rosa Spectre, double rare, so nice to get a draw medal. That's pretty nice. So I believe they actually changed the rates. Um, I don't know why, but I can um, kind of speculate as to why. But basically, the rates got reduced uh, from the previous Ace set to three triple rares and five double rares, or at least what I saw from people's openings. Uh, I've also got Art of Speed Run again. We've got Titan. Okay, if I can pull this apart. Saiji, I almost said that wrong. Saiji Kido Defense. I swear I just say every name wrong anyways. And Nato Gardra. So this is a rare and a secret pack. Kind of weird. Because I thought they weren't going to repeat that pattern again. But yeah, I can understand why they changed it. It is a bit weird and Lost World cards certainly aren't cheap to print either. But anyways, I don't really have evidence that it costs more. But for some reason they changed his rates and that's just how it is for this set. Okay, there's Art of Trancy. Uh, Queenside Castling again, and there it is. The set's called Scarred 1, and pay 1 gauge, draw 2. So that's really nice to get for a ninja as well. And already the packs are getting clustered. Okay, next we have got Robust Tom. We've got Namari, Grandmaster Kane, um, Babylon Lupus, and Agonia. Wow, okay. So this is a uh, Dimension Dragon. Oh my gosh, you can't even read it with all that foiling. Basically... Uh, when it leaves the field, you get the check top four, put up to two of them, oh sorry, yeah, check top four, and then put up to two into your hand and rest into your case. So I got it right the first time, but yeah, my gosh, that is just decked with foiling right there. And I gotta organize myself again. Okay, so moving on to the next pack, if I can open it. By the way, if you guys don't mind the cuts, just tell me, and I also wanted to have another poll, so if you guys do see any polls or cards in the stream, be sure to click on them and check them out. So we got Vanity Cells. We've got Juhaku again. We got Pawn, Verd Spear, Link Dragonor's Anthem, non foil this time. And we're gonna get Nindog. I didn't even know Nindog was rare, but yeah, you basically get to search your deck and put any number of Nindog. And again, you can only run up to four in your deck. So essentially, you're getting either three gauge or three more cards into your hand. Okay, let's move that to the side. So, we've got Excel Blade, Beast Cut, Blessed Rain Tactic, Dimension Cane again, Art of Getting Fish. And Govern Star Ballet again. So now we are doubling up on rares as well as commons and other random stuff. Okay, let's put that to the side. Next pack, we've got Excel Blade Beast Cut again as our first card. Blessed Rain Tactic, Dimension Cane, Gar Pressure, and we're gonna get Lost Knight Narrow Lance. That is a pretty sweet pull, and I gotta say, the art for this is pretty outstanding in my opinion. And my gosh, so much foiling. And no, it does not have a Lost World backing. So yeah, um, that's the first card we've seen in the anime using a Lost Riser card to evolve. So definitely a nice card, and I believe it's worth like $9. I really wanted to build Draw Metal, so I'll see how that goes, and if you guys see any deck profiles, and this is just stuck again. Vanity Cells back at it again. Anyways, okay. We got Vanity Cells back at it again. You need to stop those pesky Punishers. Quake, Estoma, 
Um, Dahaku again coming back, uh, Saiji Kaido defense, and Neto Gardra again. So, I'm seeing a... I don't know if it's just me, or if this usually happens, but I don't know, I'm just seeing a lot of dupes stacking up for Ace. Um, Nin Bird, Wild Chain, defense, sequence, okay, whoa, my bad. Guard Pressure, and of course we got Pinnacle of Eye, Godspeed. So that is a really nice double rare pull, definitely great impact, so might want to trade this off to someone who's playing Excel. Um, blaze at the shop or something. I'm currently not doing any online trades or shopping uh, Basically online selling because that's not really my thing I don't want to make it public or be like oh, yeah, buddy Jacoby is not selling this kind of stuff But maybe in the future that might happen, but so far I just don't want to get into that kind of uh, Area right now. I think it's a bit of chipped at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it Probably can't. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus Anyways, we have got vanity cells Bart pile Beast Cut, back at it again, uh, Babylonia, and we're going to get Deity Dragon Sword, Guardius. So it is kind of weird seeing rares that I know are also secret, so it, it is a bit odd, but at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I can understand why they did it. Anyways, what do you guys think of that, having rares also being in secret cards as well? Art of Speedrun, yet again, Titan, Bishop back, um, Sable, that's pretty nice, and we're going to get the Lost World Ace rare, there you go. Oh my gosh, you just see the rainbow all over it. So much for it to be a black card. But anyways, moving on. I believe we still have a few double rares and one triple rare to go. So we got Notify, Blessed Rain Tactic, Dimension Cade, Penalia. Okay, Pawn Foil. We're going to get Shikido and Knight Argento Lance. That is pretty nice. So it is a foil right there. But it's definitely a great card that you need for draw metal. So that's uh, two versions of Lance that we've got right there. So that is really nice to grab. Okay, we've got four more packs to go. Question is, can we get... Uh, I think we're definitely getting the other Ace Rear, but can we get an SP? Okay, Robust Tom. Um, Namaki again. Grandmaster Kane. D Scapegoat. Definitely a really nice card for Dimension Dragons. And we're going to get Dimension Dragon i -Ray, which is a... Uh, Definitely kind of a classic card that people like to play in Dimension Dragon. And Ram I like to use a lot as well. Okay, so we know one of these have to have the Ace Rear for uh, when Demon Dragon. So that's probably what's going to be in this pack in my opinion. But who knows? And Game Steady. And once again, D Scapegoat. And there he is. Ace Rear uh, of Gargantua Win Demon Dragon. Okay, so moving on. We got the last two packs. Can we get a Buddy Rare or something? Can we do it? Okay, let's just seal it up so you don't get spoiled. D alteration. We've got the ninja again, Estoma, Sable, and we get Dimension Dragon Dugon. I can't even say that. Dugain. My mistake. So nah, really nice double rare. And I'm just okay. Th this can't work. I'm gonna have to work this out somehow. I just said work like three times in a row. But anyways, yeah, really nice double rare. Redirects attacks and gets you that one draw that you probably want or need. Or both. Okay, last two packs. Please, can we get an SP? Please, bestow upon us the SP Bushy. Okay, de-alteration again. This guy again. Okay, this is a new card, Investigator Mizuru. And Celesphere Control. Okay, draw three for uh, Prism Dragons, I'll take it. Okay, last pack. Is this it? We got Titan. Galio Lance, Ninbird, Arl, and Link Dragon R's Renewal. So we're done. That's it. Okay, let's quickly sum up what we got. As you can see, we got the Mamaru for promo flag. We have the Ace Rare, Lost World flag. We got the Ace Rare, Wind Demon, Gargantua Dragon. We have Pinnacle of Eye, Godspeed right here. Dimension Dragon, Dugain, Art of Triancy. Telesphere, Control, King, Rose of Spectre, Dimension Dragon, Agonia, going on to Triple Rares, Lost Knight, Nero Lance, Dimension Draw, and really nice Lost World card right there. And of course, we got the Secret Pack with Karkunai again, Didi, Gargantua Punisher, Nincat, um, what is this? Oh my gosh, Didi, Dragon Ninja Arts, Cyclone Sword Dance. And Gargantua, Wind Demon Dragon again. So that is it. Unfortunately, we didn't get any SPs, Buddy Rares, 
kind of uh, disappointed by that, but I mean, you can't really expect to get that anytime. And again, you know, it's all RNG, so best of luck with your pulls. Hopefully you get some cool cards, maybe Ace Rear, and definitely tell me what kind of deck are you guys going to make. I'm probably thinking about Draw Metal, maybe Draw Ninja from all the stuff I've gotten, but I'll see how it goes, and if I do make a deck profile, you'll see it up. So, yeah, I'll also be streaming soon. Hopefully you guys will see that. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and if you do see any polls in the videos, again, check them out, because I do want to put some more stuff up for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and enjoy Buddy Fight.